As a first time buyer, it's difficult how to know to approach your first mortgage. In this video, I provide my five top tips when buying your first home as a first time buyer. Let's get to it. What's up, Alex Kerr from Mortgage Chain and I'm a qualified mortgage broker and on this channel, we provide the best tools and tips to first time buyers. If we are meeting for the first time, please consider subscribing. Let's get into the video. So tip number one, and the most common mistake I see first time buyers make, don't offer on a property before you have obtained mortgage advice. Because if you're going in blind, you might be buying a property that you can't afford. My second tip is around freehold and leasehold properties. When you're buying a house, 99 times out of 100, it will be a freehold where you own both the land and the building. However, when you're buying a flat or an apartment or something that is leasehold, you don't own the land and the apartment. You are just leasing it from the freeholder. Now, when you buy a leasehold apartment, make sure there's a good lease, you know, at least 80 years. And make sure you understand what leasehold means. That means there will be a freeholder who stipulates the rules around the property. Make sure you understand fully. I've seen many examples where the leaseholder has to pay out the freeholder thousands of pounds. Make sure that doesn't happen to you. Also, as a leaseholder, you may have to pay for the maintenance of the building. Everyone within the apartment would contribute towards the maintenance costs. Sometimes this can be high. Try and find out from the agent or the freeholder the last time the property was maintained. Because if it's been a little while, you may have to pay thousands of pounds out towards the maintenance. So just do your homework on leasehold properties. Tip number three, get your documents in order. Make sure your passports, your driving licenses, they haven't expired, they've got the correct data on, your name's spelt right, the address is correct. Just do a thorough check across all of your documents to make sure everything's in the right place. Bank statements. So tip number four is in regards to bank statements. So whether you're employed, or whether you've got your own business, limited company, you're self-employed, the rule applies across the board. Some lenders will ask for three months bank statements. Some may ask for six to 12 months, especially if you are a business owner. If your statements are just a complete mess of transactions, your money going in, your direct debits, business expenses, it's not gonna be viewed favorably. Try and have separate account for direct debits, it's all neat and tidy, and another account for where your salary goes in. That, I would say, is the best way moving forwards. And if you've got an account with misdirect debits and charges and things like that, again, the lender's not gonna view this in a favorable light. So make sure your bank statements are looking good and that they're organized. Tip number five is check your credit file up front. It is vital to know what's going on with your credit file. Credit file providers are Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. Now, all the mortgage lenders will either use one or a combination of those three agencies when they do your credit score. Don't rely on data from one of them. You need to see the data on all three because the information could be different. I fully recommend getting your credit report from Check My File, who provide all three credit file reports on one file. Today's question, are you buying your first home? I would love to know your experiences. Please do let me know in the comments below. So please do note we are obliged to tell you that your home may be repossessed if you do not keep up repayments on your mortgage. So thanks for checking out today's video. Please do check out the show notes for a recap on today's content. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing or ringing the bell. Till next time, have a beautiful day. We'll see you in the next video.